And what I did is <laughs> this is kind of a new, um, a new drawing for me. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with his head. So you're going to want to make sure that you give his head at the top and lots of space down below. So I put my ear paper going up and down, put it vertical. Okay. And I'm actually going to use paper and a Sharpie today when I draw, but you draw really, really lightly with your pencil, okay? All right, here we go. So the first step, and I have it lightly drawn here in pencil so I don't mess up too badly. But the first thing you're going to draw is kind of a triangle or, I don't know, it almost looks like a pizza slice or piece of pie, something like, kind of a triangle with rounded corners. And that's going to be his head. Can I borrow the paint, please? And then when you put the ears on, they're going to come out from the sides. And you can watch mine first. And they kind of look like the petal shape. Kind of like the petal shape we used on our Stegosaurus, if you made him with us. But those are his ears. And of course, what does he need on top of his head? Chris, what does he need up here? Um, his eyes. Oh, he does need eyes. Good. So let's just, he's so deep in thought, we're going to give him closed eyes because he is thinking about his dance. He's just feeling the music. At the top, we need those little horns. So I'm going to put little horns up there. I can move it closer. You want to see how I did it? And then let's give him a smile. He's really happy. So we're gonna give him a smile and he needs to breathe because he's working hard. So let's give him some little lines for nostrils. How's it going so far? Thumbs up if you're doing well. You wanna show us what you have so far? Excellent. That's great, Lauren. Very nice, Chris. You guys are doing great. Now we'll give you time um, to do the coloring later, but now we're gonna do the neck. And you don't want the neck to go too far because you have to leave room for his body and his legs. So when I do the neck, I'm gonna come up from behind and I'm gonna come down and down again. If you need it closer or you need me to slow down, let me know. And then let's do his tummy. So tummy is a little rounded. He's not a chubby giraffe, but he's got kind of a rounded tummy. And when we do his back, we're gonna go down his back and then to his hip, okay? Now, I'm going to leave a little gap because I'm using a Sharpie. I won't be able to erase mine. So you can just make it with one long line. But there I did his backside. So again, you could make that connected. But since I can't erase Sharpie, I left a space because that's where his other arm is going to come out. All right. Can I go on? Are you set? Okay, good deal. So let's do his leg that is to the front, the leg that we see. And that is going to start right about here where the dot is. It's going to come around. Now remember the giraffe, Gerald, had those knobbly knees. So we're going to kind of make a knobbly knee. Kind of got that bump there. And then we'll connect it at the bottom, and that will be his, the bottom of his hoof and a line. Now I'm not gonna color it in yet. I'm not gonna color anything in. Now let's do this leg back here. The leg behind is bent Does that look like you? on mine. You can make yours however you want. But again, that knobbly knee, gonna come from behind. And then I'll come down and make that knobbly knee and I'll connect it at the bottom again. And I'll draw a line across for the hoof. You want to show what you have so far? 
Or do you want to save it as a surprise? Chris, do you want to show us or do you want to save it? Um, save it. Okay, Lauren, how about you? Save it. Okay, you're keeping me in suspense. So let's do his arm that is again to the front. Okay, so I'm going to do this arm where I left space. And I'm going to come in here, go out to his elbow, go out to the elbow. And then I'll bring that leg, I guess it's a leg because he's a giraffe. With that knobbly knee, I'll bring it down and draw the hoof line again. And his other leg, his other front leg is kind of reaching up like he's striking that pose like he did in the book. So I'm going to go from, let me hold this better for you, from here out to about here. So it's going to look like this. And again, that knobbly knee. And the line for the hoof again. All right, now Gerald needs a tail. Now you could make Gerald's tail going up. You could have it hanging down. He's kind of striking a pose, so I'm going to make his tail going downward. I'm going to kind of go behind that front leg. I just have his tail sticking down there. I'm also going to add a little bit up here in his ear. Add yeah, just a little ear line. I remember making those with some of our other animals. And that is Gerald. Now, if you want to do his mane, they have kind of like a horse. They have a little bit of hair that goes down the back of their neck. And he's got his neck twisted around. So I'm going to do a little bit of hair coming down over here too. And I'll color that in in a little bit. All right, here's mine. What do you have? Let's see. Chris, that looks great. Lauren, how about you? I'm doing something. You're working on it? So my first ones did not turn out super. And I actually practiced, practiced, practiced with this paper. And I tr did some tracing, actually. All right, let's see Lauren's. Very good. Now here's what I'm gonna, what they told me on one of the videos that I watched is then they color. Now I use Sharpie so it's permanent, so it won't bleed. But you can do this before you use like a Crayola marker. But they colored the whole thing yellow. His ears, his neck, the whole guy. They colored all of Gerald yellow. And then they put the color in for the spot. So you did some lines there, Lauren. That's just fine. Well, I'm going to color mine yellow. Now, if you've got extra pencil lines that you want to erase, now would be the time to do that, too, before you color it, of course. Coloring in his tail. So now all of my Gerald is yellow. I left a little bit of white on his tummy. And then for my orange spots, I'm not going to draw circles on him. I'm going to just take my orange and go on top of the yellow and make some shapes. So they're not perfect circles. And you can make them however you want, because he's your Gerald. You can make him as spotted as you want, can't you? You can use another one there. And then you might want to color in the hooves and the mane. 
Your color is main orange. That hair we put on there. Your color is horns orange. That's the way the artist in the book did. Our illustrator did that. Maybe I'll color his tail orange, the tip. Then I'll use my black to blacken in his hooves. All right. Did you all color yours? Chris, were you coloring too? No, I just used the pencil. You just used the pencil? That works. I don't really want to color it. That's okay. And you could always do that later. So how did your Gerald turn out? Let's see. Now that you've got the spots and everything on. Oh, I like them. Those are awesome, you guys. Super, super, super. So that is our Gerald directed drawing from Giraffes Can't Dance. Now on the um, stream, I did put in there the artist, Chris. I did put in the artist, the illustrator who did this. And I put in a video of him actually teaching you how to draw. And it's Guy Parker Reese. So you, if you are interested in him, you could check it out. And he's the one that, that did the lesson that's on your um, classroom stream. Can we play some headbands? I think we could. So I think we will stop our recording because this recording is for Gerald. Yep. We'll stop recording.